and we are back with another video um so today i wanted to do something a little bit more fun a little bit more festive and that is make some rice krispie treats so we have our good old rice krispie treats right here we got the large batch and if you ever wanted to make them they literally have the recipe on the side this used to be my like go to go snack to make when I was a kid like let's just do this it's simple it's easy it's only three ingredients but before I move on don't forget to thumbs up this video don't forget to subscribe and yeah join the family you know we lit over here you feel me but let's go ahead and jump into the, the original rice krispie treats recipe you need three tablespoons of butter you need one package of marshmallows um, you can do the 10 ounce regular size or four cups of the miniature marshmallow and then six cups of the good old Rice Krispie treat. Now what I will say is that I've learned that you can add a little bit more flavor to them by adding some vanilla extract. So I'm going to do that as well. Um, now for decoration purposes, because I don't want just some bland Rice Krispie treats. Now, we're not doing that this year. So I got some fun little, so this came with like cookie cutters as well, but I think they're too small for the Rice Krispie treats. So I'll probably just take these home for the holiday and make some cookies with my niece. But I got some nice little sprinkles here. It's like gold and like a champagne color. And then the bottom are like gold and gray and champagne. These are really cute. And then I got some pink icing. That has the pink sprinkles at the top. I have green icing. And then I have your regular cream cheese icing. So what I will say is most stores that I went into was all sold out of red icing. I don't know. I get it, I guess. It's Christmas time, so everybody's looking to use red icing. But they could have left some for me. So she for me. They could have left some for me. So let's go ahead and jump right into making these rice krispie treats. All right, guys. So we've moved over to the stove. Um, take on my hair. We're the tradition, okay? You'll see what happens with that in another video. But what we are going to do is go ahead and turn our stove on low heat. I am using. Let me get this here. All right, so we have our pot on low heat. This is the size pot that I'm using. Just from previous experience, you want space in your pot so that you can get things moving forward. Um, so as the recipe calls, it calls for three tablespoons. You do not have to get like a measuring cup to see. It literally tells you on the side of butter how many tablespoons is each. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that. All right, so we have three tablespoons, which will be right here. So we're gonna go ahead and cut that. And we're going to go ahead and put that inside of our pot. So we're going to let that melt down just a little bit first, and then we are going to add in the marshmallows. So we'll be back. All right, y'all, we in business. We got things melting in. It's melting. So what we're gonna do is start adding the marshmallows to this butter um, so that we can actually have a nice consistency for our Rice Krispie treats. So let me get you all in a better placement and then get things moving. All right, y'all. So y'all are in a better angle for me, preferably. Um, so we got this butter melting. We need to add four cups of marshmallows. So I already have one right here. And then we're gonna add a one more just to make sure that we get a nice consistency. We don't wanna add it all at once, but we want this to be on a low temperature because you don't want to burn it. If it's too high, it will burn the marshmallow. Um, just like if you put on the stove butter and let it cook and you have the eye too high, it will begin to burn the butter and then you have a burnt taste on your food. But that's just cookie 101, guys. So we're just gonna keep stirring this. 
So it's getting there, it's starting to melt down. So I'm gonna go ahead and add these other two cups of marshmallows. And I might add just a little bit more than what's recommended because I like my marshmallows or my Rice Krispie treats to be a little, you know, creamy, I don't know. <laughs> a little ooey gooey. So we're gonna keep letting this melt. And once it's melted down, then we can add the actual Rice Krispie treats. Alright y'all, as y'all can see, it's really starting to melt down. You're not starting to see the lumps anymore of the actual marshmallows. So while this is still melting, I'm gonna grab the vanilla. And what I'm gonna do is add not too much, just a cup full of the actual vanilla. And then mix that around. Y'all, it smells so, so good. Like, so good. Keep stirring that. And as you can see, it's literally just like marshmallow goodness. All right, guys. So now that it is all melted, turn your eye off. Um, so you're going to need six cups of the Rice Krispie Treats. Dry cereal. I already measured it out in this container just so that it doesn't have to be a whole situation. And you are going to gradually mix it into the pot. And just try and get all the Rice Krispie Treats coated as much as you can. Go ahead and grab that and just whip it around, y'all. Whip it around. Y'all hear the Rice Krispie Treats popping? Oh, they got me. Now from here, you are gonna transfer this onto a baking pan that is already sprayed. And you can lay it as flat as possible or you can make it into a ball. It is up to you, it is your preference. But we are about to transfer this on over. All right, so what you're gonna do is use a sprayed spatula or parchment paper i don't have parchment paper so i'm using a spatula that's sprayed down and go ahead and press the actual rice krispie treat press it down to your preference of thickness um it's not a big deal to me how thick these come out to be but if they can fit into this entire pan that would be great but that doesn't look like it's gonna happen because I do still want them to be a nice, firm treat. So you want to spray your spatula down only because you don't want the marshmallow to stick. Um, yeah. So as you can see in there, there are little pieces that have the marshmallow in there. Once you've gotten it to your desired thickness, flatness, you're gonna let this sit and cool. Um, I would probably say 15, 20 minutes would be great. So I'm gonna sit and let this cool. All right, y'all. All right, all right, all right. All right, y'all. So I lied. I did not rinse my hair. I got distracted doing something else. Um, but the Rice Krispie Tree should be cool now. Um, so I have these white like, cookie cutters. One is a gingerbread man. It's a snowflake. And we have a nice little Christmas tree. I think I'm going to start with this gingerbread man. It feels like it's the biggest one. And let's see how this goes. So I'm only going to do a few because I like to just have them. Um, so yeah, let's see how this, this goes. Should I do it here or should I do it here? Mm -hmm. I guess 
gonna start over here since it's closer. Okay. Okay. I don't I don't really know what happened. Um let's see if we need to get out the way. Okay. We might be on to something. It ain't all the way full in there, so I'm gonna go ahead and smush some more on top. Y'all, you just gotta improvise. That's what bacon is. It's improvising, okay? Y'all! I should have sprayed this out first. Because watch this not be able to come through. And I'm going to be sorry. Let's see what happens. So we got a what, nice little man here. But I doubt that this actually comes through. The way that it should. Because I didn't spray the doggone thing. I'm such a ditz, y'all. Like, what the heck? This is gonna be a fail. Well, maybe not. We're pushing it through. We're pushing it through. Okay. Okay, we might be good, y'all. Oh, look at the little pickle. Oh, he did. Sit, 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 sit. Sit, 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 Okay, he's cute. We can form him a little bit more. Okay. Okay. I might be knowing what I'm doing or whatever. Let's do two. So we did a nice little gingerbread man. Should we do a tree or a snowflake? I feel like I want to do a snowflake. And let's see if it'll be easier if I spray this. I'm just going to spray it a little bit. Alright, let's see. Is this the right side? You always gotta find the sharper side so it actually cuts through. Okay, y'all hear the crunch? Okay, like we did with the other one, we gonna, we gonna fill it in, y'all. I want it to be full. I need her to be thick. Alright, so we gonna move this out the way. Shake you out. There you go. Baby girl, quit playing with me. Okay, so let's open some icing. Let's actually move this out the way. And then let's move these guys back up. Okay, so my head's just gonna be chopped off. I don't really care. The focus is on these at the moment. So, this is the only like simple icing. So I think what I'm gonna do is use this for this. Am I? Yeah, this for this. And then this, I'm gonna use something else. So let's see if there's anything that needs to be opened inside of here. Of course it does. Checking it first. So we gonna outline. Let's see which side is better. This side is even. So I'm gonna go ahead and trace the outside. Let's go ahead and add a little bit more. Do I want to? Yeah, let's add a little bit more. You know, this is being so much better. It came out easier. I think I'm gonna just fill it up. Let's fill it in. Alright. And then I'm gonna go to my gold situation. Open this up. Baby, 
So I think I'm going to, I don't really like these, they get stuck in my teeth. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to sprinkle it on top. Hell, hell, well, that one's done. Okay, let's see what we're going to do with the gingerbread man. Oh, it's falling apart, y'all. It might be too ooey gooey. Let's set it up there. Sheesh. So we're gonna set that thing right there, maybe it'll fold. Yeah, this one is a little bit more sturdy, so I'm gonna get a knife. All right, we're gonna use, I don't know y'all, let's use the cream cheese icing. Let's go ahead and open that up. I'm gonna go ahead and This is our gingerbread man. Um, he looks a little scary. And then our rice crispy tree is so juicy, or not even juicy, it's so like, wee gooey is falling apart over here. But it's still cute and it's still gonna be bomb. So, okay, so because the actual star is falling apart, I'm gonna try that one first, or try that one. It should be the same for both. So here it is. Chef kisses. She did that thing. Mm-hmm. She did. Mm-hmm. She did that thing. I'm mean, gonna try well. That's my little bacon moment for the moment. If you guys have some quick and simple, easy things that you can do in the house that doesn't take a thousand and one ingredients, so let me know in the comments below because this is the perfect time to try them. So. Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already because sus, we're supposed to be supposed to be doing this together. But let me go take care of this crazy hair and I will see you guys in the next one.